There are new developments tonight in a story seen and reported first on Eyewitness News, a possible cancer cluster in Norwood, Delaware County. As the investigation continues into what, if anything, is the cause of so much sickness, we have new information coming out of Norwood Elementary School. Joe Holden is on it. Good evening, Joe. Yuki, good evening to you and the Environmental Protection Agency almost a week ago now at a town hall meeting that was packed said that there was no definitive link between the environment and what is driving this potential cancer cluster. Tonight, there are teachers at Norwood Elementary desperate for answers. A handful of Norwood Elementary School teachers has kept track of those who have gotten sick. Educators, staff, even students. Kelly Mack used to teach first grade before she was diagnosed with stage four metastatic inflammatory breast cancer. She's talking to us because she no longer works for the Interborough District. My initial compilation covers 104 people with either cancer or autoimmune diseases that reside or resided at one point or worked at Norwood. We first introduced you to Mac last week when CBS 3 first uncovered an EPA investigation into possible contaminants buried over decades in a pair of landfills in Norwood. The report touched off a firestorm of concern. The EPA's initial analysis found no link between the illnesses and that landfill, but conceded more testing would be completed. Norwood Elementary sits a block from the old landfills. There's a lot of strange cancers also. Why did you guys start tracking this? Being in the building and experience, experiencing what I have experienced there, it's heartbreaking. And you know what, maybe, like I said, with the landfill, maybe there's nothing there, but if there is something there, we need to know about it. Several Norwood educators reached out to Eyewitness News claiming for years they've requested testing in the school. In documents we've obtained, an email read, the district is dodging us, and it appears to us that they are trying to hide any potential problems. What's worse, some of those teachers claim they were told by their union they'd face punishment if they talked to a reporter. Nobody from the district, including the superintendent, school board president, or their attorney responded to multiple requests for comment. And we also reached out to the Pennsylvania State Education Association. That is the union that basically represents the membership here. They declined to comment, saying they had no information about these allegations. Coming up on Eyewitnesses, Eyewitness News at 6, we have more documents, including an email about that EPA meeting from the Teachers Union. I'll see you in one hour. We're live in Norwood. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe, thank you. We'll see you then.